Today we're gonna do something really, really fun. I'm gonna show you how to make mini chocolate dipped sugar cookies. For this recipe, you can use your favorite cookie dough, or you can try my easy sugar cookie dough recipe, and I'll provide a link for that below this video in the description box. First thing we're gonna do, get a little bit of flour on the top and bottom. I'm just gonna roll this out. So these are gonna be one or two bite sized. Very, very fun to make and very, very simple. And I like it like that. You can make them as thin or as thick as you wish. I have a little pizza tray here. I'll just put that to the side. And I have a piping bag tip. You can use a cookie cutter if you wish, but you wanna have something that's very small so that it truly is one or two bites maximum. I'll just push this out. I'm just using the back of a spoon. So you can see this little piece of dough that we're using here is gonna make a lot of cookies. For this video, I'm not gonna use all of this. So I just wanna show you the general idea and then you can modify it however you like at your house. Okay, I think that's good for this recipe. Just move this to the side. So here we have our cookies. So now I'm gonna pop my cookies into my 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 11 minutes. Now if you want your cookies a little bit on the crisp side, you're gonna go 12 to 13 minutes. If you want them softer, you're gonna go about 10 minutes to 11 minutes maximum. So at this point, my cookies have baked and they are now cooled. I did bake them for exactly 11 minutes in my 350 degree Fahrenheit oven. So these are quite nice. A little bit of browning on the bottom. You don't want to make them too dark because then they get a little bit too crispy. But now we are ready for the last step and we're going to dip them in our milk chocolate. So I'm just going to put down a silicone mat and now we're ready to go. Let me get that up here. And then very, very simple. I'm just going to grab my cookie and I'm just going to go about halfway. Just give it a little dip. And my chocolate is tempered. If you don't temper your chocolate and you touch the chocolate part of your, of your cookie, it's going to melt. So you want to keep away from touching the chocolate area of your cookie if you don't temper your chocolate. If you don't know how to temper chocolate, I do have a video on my YouTube channel on how to do that. I try to explain it very, very um, in easy terms and if you try it out you'll learn how to temper chocolate it's actually not hard at all so you just want to dip 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 let it drip and then just place it down and if you don't have a silicone mat you can use either parchment paper or wax paper don't those look nice so just dip I think they look nicer with part of the sugar cookie showing. I mean, you could always cover the whole thing if you wished. I think they look really nice like this. So I'm just going to keep going at this. I'll be back in one second. And our last one. And there we go. Perfect. So at this point, if you have tempered your chocolate correctly, you can just leave your cookies like this and the chocolate will harden on its own. If you have not tempered your chocolate, you can take your cookies and just pop them into the fridge for about five minutes bring them out, the chocolate will be nice and hard and set up. So at this point, I'm just gonna leave my cookies here, let them set up, and then I'll come back in a little while. So this is about 20 minutes later, and all of the chocolate has set on my sugar cookies. So really, really nice. You can see, using that silicone, these just come right off. So I guess the only thing to do now, I'll just zoom in just to show you these a little closer up. 
So here we have our mini sugar cookies, a lot closer up. Really, really nice. A nice size, one or two bite maximum. Great for parties, great for times when you don't want to eat a big cookie. So that's it for this really fast video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wish. I really do appreciate that. That's it, and I'll see you next time.